a buy. Which that just sometimes happens. And even if he's not dash attacking you, Meta Knight's edge guarding game has gotten even more proficient than before. Yeah, and it's so interesting because normally we think of John Numbers we fit off stage. He is I I immutable. There's nothing you can do about it. But uh, against him as Meta Knight, let's see if Booty can make something happen. In the meantime, John is just, oh, okay. A single stray volleyball ends up leading to 87%, pushing Booty all the way to the ledge immediately. It's why we go to a stage like Small Battlefield. You get those low platforms to pressure so reliably. The grab doesn't come out, but Booty overcomplicating the attempted punish, looking for a cross up off stage, and that frame four back air comes in clutch for numbers yet again. Oh, oh man, oh. we were talking about Meta Knight's edge guarding, but John Numbers is edge guarding 54% out of the gate on the second stock. This is looking absolutely grim for Booty to the point where, you know, Meta Knight, we said before, oh, you know, he's so volatile. And, oh my, what was that? I've never seen that before. Is that new? Is that's, that something that's just always been with us? I'm that's been so surprised that deep breathing reverse hit of forward air didn't send into tumble. It just put I Meta Knight don't, I don't right think he on the deep floor. Breathing. Was he, he might have not been in deep breathing, but that was reverse hit forward air for sure. We'll have to get a replay on that. Yeah, no, we will definitely get a chance to see it, and we might have to see it soon because this is almost looking like it's game! <laughs> oh! oh I, I, was, I saw John Numbers playing Rivals earlier, and that's definitely some Rivals energy right there, <laughs> going for like four down airs just to try and edge your opponent at zero. Yes, I want to I want to close out this stock. I'm trying to finish this advantage state, but the down air, reverse hit of down air ends up closing out the stock for Booty who, you're in a rough patch to say the least, is the up throw doesn't lead to anything for numbers except some space, and they're taking advantage of the space. Nonetheless, there is always that potential that... <laughs> Never mind, he's, he's a broken man. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, oh, you know, there's still a potential for Meta Knight to do some crazy things. But uh, I, I don't know, I think I think his uh, the, the, the wires in his brain have ceased crossing. Yeah, there's, a, there's still some electrical sparks flying though. Plenty of these protons going around, trying for the the shuttle loop to get something going, to keep the, the train rolling. But Numbers is just gonna take it cool, calm, and collected, play that offstage game, give a little shrug as Booty may have to go to the drawing board a little bit. So is, I don't know if this is new, but uh, shout outs to Devin for just immediately getting a close up on Numbers' face as soon as he wins. It's, it, it's, always, it's always comical. Yeah, look at that. He gets this massive bounce back. Yeah. Yeah. And there's nothing he can do about that. He can't drift back further because then he won't grab the ledge. And that's just, that's the end of it. So that game was way more, normally we think of Meta Knight as the explosive character, but we fits explosivity. We always know about it, but in that game in particular, it felt like it was, just, I don't know, numbers is kind of just doing things in a way I haven't seen him do in quite a while. Yeah, it's. it feels like he's, taking a page out of a room for her other Wii Fit trainers where while John has always been the defensive specialist of the character pool, you can find those deep breathing and sun salutation moments where you explode for so much damage. John being patient in this setup in game one turned out very effective, but Booty this time is acting a lot more on the play than on the draw, and he is rewarded with a solid 50% lead that's evaporated in a moment. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> He tried to jump over the sun salutation, but that's a sun, man. It's got gravity to it. It's big old ball. Yeah. I, I will say this is something that is very commendable for Booty, is that um, among the players in New York, he's an amazing game two player. Like, you will watch him get absolutely throttled game one, and it doesn't matter. He comes back just absolutely swinging, taking numbers down. That's the first stock of the game here. What a turnaround from what we saw before. Yeah, it just, uh, just going back onto that edge guarding a little bit, finally catching uh, numbers horizontally as many of Booty's follow-ups attempted to go into an up air or a down air, catching numbers trying to drift to ledge so, uh, without doing anything, and got hard punished as there's a weak hit dash attack, but he jumped too early in combination with some solid SDI from numbers. That's so smart. I don't think we've seen that yet. That's a really good answer to what is normally one of the most frustrating things to deal with for, like, you know, with a Wii Fit at ledge. This Ooh, and the rising back air. Yeah, there is the, the huge, potent moment for Booty, able to get the multiple hits of back air to connect on rising. And that back air recently buffed is going to make all of the difference in this, in that stock to exchange. Booty now putting the shoe on the other foot, up three stocks to one. 
Yeah, not only that, he's still Meta Knight with a bunch of rage, meaning that numbers is almost at the same. He's dead percent the same way that Booty is. All right, good job. Another down smash to take a stock right there. Good stuff from numbers, but he does have quite a bit in order to make up this difference. Granted, you know, numbers, fantastic player, absolutely can do it. But it feels like this time around, Booty just cleaned up his play in such a way that he just hadn't seen in game one. Yes, John keeps hunting for some of these grabs, but the uh, slight range advantage on Meta Knight's uh, is going to make all the difference on top of Weep, but not having the best standing grab. Oh, that, that Mach Tornado was so, was so good. Just yeah, calling no, out is... numbers, thinking he had a window to punish. Not today. Yeah, you see, he's going opting a lot more for like a bait and punish style. Yeah. He's like kind of pretty hard call outs, but they're call outs based on what he's been doing in front of it. And it's baiting the opponent, it's baiting uh, John Numbers by just intentionally whiffing moves in his face. And John can't, uh, is slow to adjust to the tempo that Booty is trying to play at. Look at this now, 58%, that's all that's been tacked on to Booty. He's just, he's not even that scared. Yeah, Sun Salutation, 99. Point Blake in the face, barely gets him off the other side of the stage. All right, now things are, if Numbers is able to take this stock quickly, which, you know, with a well-timed back air at the ledge, or a forward air, that, that was, was so good. That was an amazing uh, call out yeah. on Numbers' part, knowing that Booty wanted to drift to ledge for potential safety, and Numbers nipping that out in the bud, allowing the chance for a comeback, but the lingering back air, the final hit, is going to intercept and bring this to a game number three. Yeah, and I mean, Look at, I, I think at least, two, I know at least two of those stocks, they were determined at the ledge. They were these ledge guards. Of course, right here we had the back air, but then we had other plays as well. Um, oh, was, early on was that, I think the first stock so he took was good. neutral me, air. Can we run can we that, that last one? stock Yeah, back? this one also. Oh, no, no, kind go, oh. go, stock three, let's see. That neutral air right there, it's all patience on Booty's part to intercept the ledge first, acknowledge John had no resources, and just covered all that space downward with his falling back air. Just so good from Booty's part, just to keep and maintain the pressure off stage as John Yetz goes back to small battlefield. No changes in stage between either of these two. Yeah, John loves small battlefield, by the way. Can't, it's, 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 can't play me. Yeah, I mean, it's a good stage. Thank you, Dara, for the subscription. We miss you, too. Love to see, love to see the subscription, which you all can do too. Shout out to House 3000 and uh, the Match Arena. Yeah. As we're getting the House 3000 representative John Numbers trying to keep oh. this lead to us. The rebound. We were talking before about those well-timed neutral airs falling back down. That time he was a little bit too eager. The rebound of that volleyball actually turned that situation into his death. And like that, Numbers now can turn this lead into something almost insurmountable. 51% is all that Numbers has taken, and it looks like he's about to lap boot. One more hit is all it's gonna take. Another bounce off the ledge, but this is where John gets to flip uh, his own time ch timing changes onto Booty. I mean, this is what worked well so well for Booty in game two is the fact he was doing everything a lot earlier than before than in game one. This time, John is pulling back and doing things a little bit later than Booty wants him to do. Oh, absolutely. Not only that, he's doing kooky things. He's being a quirky little boy. John is, is anything but quirky in his play. <laughs> and he's looking for a potential... Uh, oh, I thought he was going to try and intercept, but that time I'm going for a down smash read, which gets Booty his first stop on a dash attack into upbeat. Looking pretty... Honestly, this is not the worst thing in the world for Booty. 121%. Okay, now it's pretty bad, because deep breathing is here. Uh, but... You know, this is still Meta Knight with Rage, and especially considering, that's the thing though, you can only make like a single mistake when John Numbers has leading in that type of situation. Uh-oh. No way. Oh, way? Uh-oh, indeed. You are gone. That was what it seemed like Booty was really hunting for as a confirm. Some of these uh, up air ladders, uh, John has, was uh, DIing and SDIing properly. But down air, down air, up air, up air, back air? That's crossing up DI in three ways from Sunday. Absolutely. Oh, numbers. His premonitions of disaster were properly foretold here. He was worried about the Meta Knight for that exact reason. And now it's completely even here. And I like this, actually. Booty has slowed down his play as well, realizing that he just needs that one explosive moment. He 
doesn't need to extend where he doesn't feel comfortable. Oh, here comes the moment, though. Great DI back around, but it might not be enough. Takes him off the top. Booty actually taking the set 2-1. That's so, so good. Okay, so flashback to Smash 4, everybody, as Meta Knight was dash attack the character, and arguably still is. But the one thing you learn early about Meta Knight, never cross up your DI. It makes the combo go longer, and it makes Shutter Loop easier to combo in two. And Numbers, so afraid of the back air finisher that took the second stock, crossed up Meta Knight, uh, crossed up his own DI, which basically gave Booty the game. Yeah, and it's... It, at the same time, though, if he had gone out there, is it like he's dead either way? If you go... If you go hold out and... Uh, be conscious about the follow-up that Meta Knight can offer. You can hold out and down and potentially get away from the shuttle loop. Mm. Of course, this leaves you potential open to a fair follow-up instead, so it's a really bad place to be yeah. in every way. But you're always able to be a little bit, to pull away from Meta Knight and get further away by committing to a direction. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been down there last for so long. Just got big feet. It's a, it's not even about big feet at that point, is it? Uh, Does having big feet make them last? So you longer? know how so you know how in in um, in Wii Fit that you have those aerobics games where you like stepping on the Wii Balance board. Sure. Okay. Well, there's some Wii, there's some like rhythm games where you can step on the Wii Balance board, and oh boy, Wii Fit be doing a lot of those. She's doing a lot of steps. <laughs> She's getting her workout in. All across these games, but just I guess walking everywhere, walking, walking, 